This week, Boeing flew a 777X test plane for the first time. This plane represents the next evolution in the remarkably successful 777 family. However, considering it looks nearly identical to its predecessors and shares the 777 family name, some might just see this jet as a direct replacement for older 777 variants. Yet, the X is uniquely positioned to be so much more than that. So what really is this plane's value proposition? Let me explain. First, let's discuss what differentiates the 777X from legacy 777s. The X is supposed to cost 14% less to operate than its predecessor. These savings are brought about via two primary advancements, new engines and new wings. First, the 777X utilizes the brand new GE9X engine. Drawing on new technologies such as ceramic matrix composites and fourth generation composite fan blades, the engine is officially the largest, most powerful, and highest bypass engine ever built. Second, it sports new carbon composite wings. Not only are these wings the largest that Boeing's ever put on a commercial jet, but they're also the first that fold. Now, the 777X program is comprised of two airplane variants, the Dash 8 and the Dash 9. The 777-9 variant was the type that conducted its first flight this week, and will be the first variant delivered to airlines in 2021. The larger of the two variants, Boeing stretched this plane's fuselage by an additional 10 feet over the 777-300ER, which previously was the largest 777 variant. With this stretch comes the title of longest passenger jet in the world. It's a whopping 252 feet nose to tail, two feet longer than the prior record holder, the 747-8. Speaking of the 747-8, a key component of the 777X's value proposition is to fill the void in the jumbo jet segment once 747 production ceases. Take a look at this chart showing the product lineups of Boeing and Airbus. You'll see that the Dash 9's capacity slots just below the 747-8 and Airbus A380, and nearly matches that of the older 747-400. Between them, over 1,000 747-400s, 747-8s, and A380s have been ordered. And many of these jets have been or will be retired soon. This is primarily because all three of these planes are quad jets, planes that have four engines. These sorts of planes have recently begun falling out of favor with airlines because they are heavier, less efficient, and cost more to maintain. The 777-9, on the other hand, is a twin jet, meaning it only has two engines. And it's the only twin jet that has the capacity to match these aging quad jets. As such, it's exceptionally well positioned to replace these 1,000 or so units. The other 777X variant, the 777-8, is a bit smaller. Rather than being a jumbo jet replacement, it is more of a traditional replacement for the legacy 777-300ER. However, the Dash 8 can fly about 1,300 miles further. As such, it won't just act as a replacement for aging 777s. It will also help open up new, ultra-long-haul routes for airlines. Okay, I know that was a lot of information in not that much time. But the synopsis is this. The 777X has a tremendous value proposition because 1. It has the potential to replace four different types of aging jets with just two fuel-efficient variants, and two, it has the potential to open up new routes for airlines. This video is part one of a two-part series I'm doing for the new 777X, with the second part coming tomorrow. If that video is already out, click the link here to go watch it and to understand a little bit more about why the 777X's wings fold. And make sure to click here to subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.